Alabama Community College System launched a nurse apprenticeship program to help meet the high demand for nurses statewide. Joining me live over Zoom is Dr. Brian C. Klein, ACCS Director of Health Programs. Dr. Klein, thank you so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. Oh, thank you for having me this morning. Tell us about this program and how it all works. Oh, this program has been an outstanding, um, uh, been an outstanding program to help us throughout the state with our nursing shortage. The program works as the our colleges serve as what we consider a sponsor, and the colleges then it's an employee it's an employer driven program that allows an employer out there that will want a nurse a apprentice to serve in that role. So as the college serve as a sponsor, the, uh, the employer serve as the employer. We get the we get a chance or we get the opportunity more so to allow our students to go out there and what we call earn as you learn, and it helps us with the shortages that have been across the state. So they get real life opportunities, real world experience. How will this help our state's healthcare system overall? It'll help our state healthcare uh, system based off of it allows the students to get the, gain their clinical competencies. And what really helps with it is that the employer themselves not only get a chance to recruit the students, because when the, as a student enters into the nursing program, they are allowed, uh, they are then will apply for the nursing apprenticeship program. The employer itself then takes on the uh, opportunity to interview that particular student. They recruit them, they train them, and then they retain them. And one of the things that we have seen across the board is that a lot of students, once they get out into the real workforce, is very rigorous. And so this gives them an opportunity to work directly with a journey worker that's going to provide them the guidance that they need within that facility and provide a sense of comfort. And once that happens, the hospitals or the employers from that standpoint can then retain that individual and it helps, it helps with the overall flow of what goes on within those healthcare facilities. With this ongoing shortage, have a lot of people reached out to you? Has there been high demand? Absolutely. Uh, we started back in March. And since March, we've had, we had two colleges that were participating and we had four employers. Here to date of, of August, uh, we are now up to 11 colleges and between 35 and 40, 40 actually employers. And, the, the, and it's this constantly rising every day. We, uh, we speak, uh, we take a lot of time to actually talk with the Alabama Board of Nursing, uh, with Ms. Peggy Benson, Benson and Mr. Honor Inglez, and then we have our uh, Alabama Office of Apprenticeship with uh, Josh Laney and Ms. Mary Smith. They do a very, they do a really good job to allow this to happen. And they're looking to have another cohort starting here in January. I know you can't name all the colleges and people participating. So where can people go to get more information and learn more about these programs? They can visit uh, our website at www.accs.edu. They can also go to the Alabama Board of Nursing website to gain more information regarding uh, the program. Uh, we, once again, we are, we are very excited about this opportunity to allow our colleges to grow and, and impact our communities across the state. Uh, we recently just, we recently had a, uh, two of our colleges, Central Alabama Community College and Southern Union Community College within this area, they actually just signed agreements and they're looking to expand more. So with those 11 colleges and 21 of our colleges in place, more of our colleges are looking to begin this program as it's going to be a benefit to not only to the institution, but it's going to be a benefit to the state. All right, Dr. Brian Klein, thank you for all that info and thank you so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Have a great day.